Hello, welcome to Miniature Realms, my name's Stuart and welcome to a painting tutorial and today's subject is a Middle Earth strategy battle game, Rohan Captain. Now this is a tabletop um, standard, a higher tabletop standard, not basic but um, a tabletop standard nonetheless and you'll notice that I prepared the miniature in a zenithal pre-highlighted underpainted method and I'll pop a little link in the video now so you can see a video where I talk about what this is and what that does but essentially what this does is it prepares the miniature to take thinned paint or glazes and in this case mostly citadel contrast paint with a bit of army paint and speed paint as a way of base coating the model and this gives you really really nice subtle share highlights and shades without too much effort and then I go ahead and highlight over the top and I wanted to take you through this process. So first up, fire sayer flesh, and that will just give you a really nice base layer to work from. Next up, some Nasdrag yellow, just a few areas on the sleeves, around the trim on the armour. Now some Garak Sewer, this is one of the newer contrast paints. It's a really nice sort of mid-tone brown, which is perfect for, for leathers. Now some Wildwood, which is perfect for the back of the shield. Now Black Legion, which is another new contrast paint which I'm using on the boots of both characters. Now some Skeleton Horde, which I'm using in a few places. So around the wrap, around the handle of the axe, some of the lower parts of the sleeves and the top part of the Orc's um, clothing. Now some Saigor Brown, which is another great colour for, for leather. It's a bit redder. I'm using that on the belt, some leather straps and the lower part of the horse clothing. Now Blood Angels Red. Now this is going to go all over the cloak. Um, this is part of a, a, a customer's, a client's um, commission. And these are the colours that he, he wanted for his work. I'm also adding it to the shield. Next up, Basilicanium Grey. I'm just using this on some of the clothes for the top of the orc. Slightly out of focus there, my apologies. Now some Plague Bearer Flesh. I'm going to use this for the skin on the orc. Now some Black Templar for the orc's hair. and some Agaras Dunes for the Rohan Captain's hair. Some Scale 75 Black Metal for the tops of the cloak holders from the axe, the armour on the orc and the boss on the shield. And this is all the base coats down. So pure contrast over the Zenithal and I think it shows that the Zenithal sort of pre-highlight shade um, really, really works and that you can leave your miniature at this stage if you wanted to do now. So if you didn't want to watch the rest of the video, uh, hopefully this has showed you a way, along with the other video, showed you how you can get some really nice looking tabletop miniatures ready very, very quickly. But for those cracking on, we're going to carry on with the highlights. I'm going to use two yellows, so a base Avalanche Sunset from Citadel and also the layer, the phalanx yellow, and those I will use on all the yellow parts. I'm gonna highlight the red areas with the Evil Sun Scarlet and Wild Rider Red. First highlight of model colour chocolate brown on the Orth's lower clothing. Add a little dark sand and a 50-50 mix to highlight. Now a pure highlight of dark sand on the highest areas and also along the tops of the belt. Just some little scratch marks which we're going to glaze back in a moment. Now 
Now using some thin wood grain, two parts of water to glaze over the top of the belt and some thin smoke, again two parts of water to glaze over the top of the other leather areas. Now some middle stone as the first highlight of the skin. Adding in some dark sand and off-white to the mix to highlight further. Now a thin glaze made from contrast mantis warriors green and that just glaze back over the skin to take away some of the harshest of highlights. Now onto the captain's skin, we start with Vallejo Noctura Natural Flesh as a first highlight. And then Fairy Flesh from the same range for the top highlight. Some scale colour Petroleum Grey to highlight the black boots. Some scale colour Graphite Grey to highlight the top of the Orc's clothing. adding a little white for the top highlight and then pure white just to highlight some strands of the captain's hair. Now to give that hair a real rich look I'm adding some Einjor contrast yellow thinned with water about 50-50. Now some scale colour white sands just to pick out the odd top highlight. Now using muddle colour dark sands, I'm just going back to where the areas that were painted with skeleton horde and just adding a highlight there with a bit of off-white as, as a final top highlight. A faint touch of shade null oil to the metallic areas. Using scale colour black metal and game air silver to highlight the metal areas again. And there we are, we have the finished Rohan Captain. I've tried to whiz through those stages in order not to have a, an hour-long painting tutorial. Um, it was really to illustrate what you could do from that pre-highlighted um, prime and the underpainting and then taking it forward through with contrast glazes to start with and, and what kind of level of tabletop miniature that gives you on its own and then what you can achieve by highlighting over the top and yes it is still a tabletop miniature this isn't this isn't a really really high standard very much a gaming standard miniature but you can also achieve really relatively nice results without an awful lot of work going into it. And we're talking a couple of hours, not rather than hours and hours and hours on a miniature. And the contrast stage alone, um, you could probably do in, in, in about an hour, just the base coating. And contrast is such a lovely paint to, to, to paint with in terms of putting a base layer down. They're much smoother and, and, and quicker. And then doing the base layers is sometimes one of those painful parts of, of painting. Well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. It's something a little bit different to some of the other topics of painting on the channel. Now, I, I, I paint for a, for a living as a commission painter, and I also play lots of games that aren't covered so much on the channel. Um, and Middle Earth is one of my, my passions, as those of you who have followed the channel for a while will, will know that anyway. So hopefully... Yeah, and this has been interesting for you and will help you with other miniatures, even if you don't pay if any fantasy games. Um, the techniques should be very transferable to, to historical miniatures and things as well. Those of you who are here for the Middle Earth side of things anyway, then hopefully you found it useful. Um, and I will definitely be doing more of them. Love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Um, please like the video if you've liked it. Um, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and check out the other videos. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. I'll catch you soon.